Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Peyton and today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 favorite brushes from Morphe. I've narrowed down my entire Morphe collection down to my top 10 everyday favorite brushes. I have five eyeshadow brushes and five face brushes that I'm going to be showing you today. If you want to see exactly how I use these brushes, what I love about them and other ways to use them, just keep watching. So this is my first favorite brush from Morphe. This is the R6 Flat Buffer Brush. This one is $16 and this is what I use for foundation. I love this brush because it is so dense and the bristles aren't super long so it's not very flimsy. Like it just stays together while you're buffing on your foundation. So Morphe describes this as a full coverage kabuki style foundation brush with densely packed synthetic brushes that give you an airbrush finish. And honestly, that is exactly what it does. This has been my go-to brush for years now, and I've never had any shedding issues with it. It is just the perfect foundation brush. I absolutely love it. So this is the E57 Pointed Concealer Brush. This one is $7, and this is probably my favorite brush out of all of these brushes that I'm talking about. This is the one I use to blend my under eye concealer. I prefer this over a sponge because I feel like you can get right under your eye where I sometimes have a hard time doing that with a sponge. This one really gets in your lower lash line and I love blending it onto my eyelids. It gives you the perfect finish and it blends your concealer perfectly. It looks just like a paintbrush but it works perfectly for concealer. So this is the M536 under eye bullet brush. This one's $9. This is what I use to set my concealer. This is one of the best brushes I have found. I have always had a hard time finding this in makeup brushes, so I think this is such a unique brush that Morphe made. This is the E4 Angled Contour Brush. This one is $15, and even though it says it's a contour brush, I use this as my blush brush. It is the perfect brush because the more you wash it, the more it fluffs up, the bigger it gets, which is just perfect for applying blush. In this video, I'm using it with a cream blush, so it works great with um, powder and cream blushes. It blends it out like a dream. This is the R36 Pointed Highlight Brush. This one is $9 and I use this for highlight. I love using this because it has longer tapered bristles. So when you apply your highlight, it doesn't fluff powder all over your face. It only puts the powder right where you put it. It is the perfect highlighting brush. So moving on to eyeshadow brushes. This is the M513 Round Blender Brush. This one is $7, and this is the first brush I initially go in during my eyeshadow. I use this for my transition shade and those first few lighter colors that you blend into the crease. It is a very full and fluffy brush, so it is the perfect brush for blending all of the shades together. This is the M573 Crease Brush. This one is $7 as well. It is very similar to the first one, but it, it is a little thinner and has more of a rounded top. I personally use this for putting the darker shades in the outer V of my eye. I like having two brushes to switch between. I feel like it makes your eyeshadow more blended and you don't get any harsh lines. So after I'm done with this brush, I go back in with the first one and use any of the leftover eyeshadow to go and make sure everything is all blended together. This is the M421 Mini Concealer Brush. This one is $4. It is meant to be a concealer brush, but I love using this to apply my lid shades. It is the best brush because it is super small, but it is very dense, so it holds a lot of pigment on the brush. I love the rounded top because it lets me put my eyeshadow exactly where I want it. I never have any issues with getting too much eyeshadow on my eye anymore. I just love how little and dense this brush is. It is perfect for eyeshadow. This is the M213 Smudger Brush. This one is $3, and I bought this because I always had such a hard time blending out my lower lash line until I found this brush. This solved all of my issues. It is the teeniest, tiniest little brush you will ever own, but it blends out eyeshadow so well on your lower lash line. It is also a great brush for blending out eyeliner if you're doing a smoky eye. I just love this. It is a brush you never thought you'd need, but you definitely do need it. And it's only $3, so I think it's totally worth it. 
So this is the M515 Detail Crease Brush. This one is $5, and just like the last one, it is one of the tiniest brushes you will ever own. But I use this for doing my inner corner highlight and on my brow bone. On the Morphe website, it says it is also great for carving out the crease and for contouring the nose. So here's the final look using all of these brushes from Morphe. Like I said in the beginning, these ones are my tried and true favorite brushes. I literally use these for years now. Um, some of them are looking a little rough because that's how long I've been using them. If you have any other favorite brushes that you love or have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll leave the link to my blog post about Morphe and my Instagram below. Thanks for watching. Bye.